I'm Dr. Karen Un. I am a senior lecturer and head of department here in the Department of Art History in NTU School of Humanities. Welcome to another episode of Ask Me Anything Professor's Edition. First question is what modules do you teach? I teach a wide variety of art history modules. I am currently teaching survey of new media art uh, as well as a 19th century photography class called From Colonialism to Tourism, Early Photography in Asia. What is your favorite module to teach? My favorite module to teach is the Survey of New Media class, uh, which is an interesting mix of critical theory and philosophy as well as art and art history. So looking at some key works of new media art and experimental new media art practice, as well as other things that live in our new media world. So some film, some uh, videos that are not made by artists, sound art, the development of photography and film. It's a really challenging module, but I think a fun one because it is in conversation with the media saturated landscape that we live in. What would be the one module that you would definitely um, so if I were an undergraduate student here at NTU, I would definitely take my colleague Professor Roger Nelson's 19th century Southeast Asian art histories class. I think it's the only of its kind in the entire world. It looks at art and culture uh, all over Southeast Asia from the late 18th century to the early 20th century. So what do you specialize in? So I have uh, several specialties, um, which is also part of my training as an art historian. Rather than specialize in one media. I'm interested in finding connections across uh, very different cultures, very different geographies, and very different time periods. Um, in particular, I've been interested in uh, intermedia production, meaning uh, work that is made from several different points of view, often involving several different creators, um, looking at sound um, as well as the visual. What inspired you to be an art historian or choose a career in this field? Um, I was um, always interested in art and particularly in attending art um, exhibitions and having access to real works of art. I had a lot of questions about why is it that modern art seems to have all been made in Paris during a few decades in the late 19th and early 20th centuries or why is it that there are so many men represented in these collections and almost no other gender expressions. I was inspired to pursue this field not just to learn more about art um, and art history but also to really question the nature of how canons are formed, how we can think about works of art um, and the people who make them, and the challenge of trying to write and contextualize um, these works in a much broader cultural scope. How is English, Chinese, linguistics, or history related to art history? Um, so I would say that all of the humanities disciplines have really interesting things to add to the study of art history in our double major program. Um, I think the, the beauty of art history is that it is simultaneously a visual discipline. You have to train your eye, you have to train your brain to think about how to discuss works of art, and then you also have to practice writing them. So I think any other humanities discipline that involves research, that involves writing, that involves analysis, and then specifically critical thinking, making your own argument, coming to your own conclusions, I think these are all really wonderful points of overlap. What are some misconceptions that most students or people have about studying art history? I love this question. This is a great question. Um, I would say that some of the misconceptions that most people have about, about art history um, is that it's a discipline that's about geniuses and masterpieces and a handful of canonical artworks and that you just need to sort of learn about the canon or learn about the individual geniuses and then that will help you to appreciate art. I think that art history is not just about sort of memorizing dates or learning to identify styles but it's about really thinking about the roots of those styles, about the complicated global histories that have all uh, come to sort of play a role um, in the patronage, in the sort of development of art, and also in its circulation, exhibition, and display. All right, that's all the questions for today. If any of these topics or the approach to thinking about this material from an interdisciplinary dis perspective sounds interesting to you, I'd encourage you to join the double major community here at NTU. Thank you, see you, bye-bye.